hello all and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this particular video we are going to see how we can hyper tune uh, the parameters and we can how we can track uh, it using ml flow so in this particular tutorial we're gonna uh, uh, train a model that can with various type of parameters and we're going to track those particular parameters and we're going to save uh, the best model out of it and we are going to do this all using the ml flow so uh, for hyperparameter tuning i am going to be using a hyper opt library uh, for hyperparameter tuning so i have already created a lot of contents on uh, hyperparameter tuning so if you go into my channel you can find a playlist on uh, uh, hyperparameter tuning so there are various uh, libraries that are available for hyperparameter tuning and i have listed some of them uh, on my channel so you can go and watch those videos and you can uh, apply ml ops over that but in this particular tutorial i'm going to be using hyper opt uh, for my particular this tutorial you can use the uh, optuna and psychic opt and other optimization techniques that you want to do it right and before we jump into this particular tutorial i just want to make sure that you have watched all those previous videos that i've created on ml flow so uh, in my previous videos i have created an introduction video on experiment tracking with ml flow uh, it's regarding how the what is the importance of experiment tracking and why it is important and in the next videos i have created uh, how we can train an ml flow um, a model using ml flow and how we can drag up model so basic usage of ml flow i have prepared a video so you can just go and watch those videos and then come back to this third tutorial uh, which is in continuation of those previous videos so it will help you to understand more of the things in a better way now let's jump back to the current video so now let's start with the some imports of this particular uh, tuning so we are going to import uh, f min uh, tpe hp status okay trials from hyperop so these are the basically imports that were, that are, that we are going to take up in this particular uh, hyperparameter tuning library so f min is nothing but a function that will help us to minimize the loss function so whatever the examples that we have taken in the previous videos we are to, we are continuing with that so uh, our previous problem was a regression problem so we are going to minimize our root mean square error so that f function f min function will help us to minimize those uh, root mean square error function and this tpe is an tpe is in a tree based uh, estimator uh, that will help you to uh, optimize or optimize the parameters like select the best parameters and train a model and then do it like this it's it's a alternative to the random grid search and grid search cv and we are going to use status ok to just let us let hyperop know that every trial is getting an ok status once it has executed all those trials and uh, hp is an hyperop that is a lot of functions and methods that we, that we are going to see up in the uh, upcoming uh, cell and trials uh, gives us the best estimates of how many trials that you want to perform uh, like 50 trials and 10 trials how many times you want to uh, run an optimization uh, algorithm so that it can find the best uh, hyperparameters for your particular model and this scope is uh, important uh, when you want to make your custom uh, logging possible uh, with certain parameters so this will help you and you can just also check all these details in this particular hyperopt documentation if you go into this particular documentation hyperopt documentation you can find various examples of it and then you can uh, just jump back to the getting started and search for define uh, such space so you can get all those understanding uh, where this uh, scope is used and uh, what are this hp and all so these are the details that are available you can just go and understand everything so now let's start building uh, the basic things that is required to train or to hyper tune a particular model so as we have uh, as we know that hyper opt library uh, requires objective function to be defined first before training a particular model so we are creating an objective function here and we are initializing the ml flow dot start run as as usual at as you discuss all these things in our previous videos and we are setting up the tag elastic net and we are logging up the parameters what are the parameters we are going to be receiving here in param parameters and it's going to log it here and then we are going to pass into the elastic net model and then we are going to fit and train the model and then we are going to predict it and then evaluate it and then log those parameters uh, like uh, RMSE, MAE, R2 score. So I think these all things are uh, similar. Only thing uh, similar to the previous video that I have des described. And then only thing is we have to put all these things inside this objective function. And only thing we have to take care is the params that we were logging earlier as specifically some we were giving some specific parameters. But now 
we're just passing this as a params uh, uh, attribute right and that's what we are trying to do here in objective function and we are going to return the loss function and we are going to return as status okay so for each and every uh, it's going to return the uh, status okay and it will let hyperopt know that okay this particular trial has been executed successfully so that's the important of this particular objective function and we have to minimize this objective function on the basis of this rmse so let us execute this particular cell and now let us define our search space so search space is nothing but our params so here in our uh, search space we are going to give alpha as a parameter and l1 underscore ratio as a parameter so alpha is a parameter for this particular elastic net model uh, and, and l1 ratio is also a uh, parameter for elastic net and we are going to define the range of this particular alpha parameter and uh, l1 ratio parameter so i'm using hp.log uniform and hp.uniform and specifying the parameters and low and highs uh, for this particular parameter to be recorded and where the space is going to be searched so this is where you have to uh, make sure that you have to uh, look into documentation of hyperop to define all these uh, uh, functions uh, so if you go into this you can see we have hp.choice which can help you to select only the categorical, categorical uh, parameters like true or false some, some kind of parameter required some categorical uh, parameters so in that case hp.choice would be helpful uh, hp.rand and hp.uniform hp.quniform so you can read about all these things and start applying in the respective uh, uh, search creation space so that's the that's the importance of hp here and you have to define and log the things by using uh, or define or log the uh, range uh, of the particular parameter by using this particular methods given by hp right so now uh, once we have defined the search space uh, now we can go and train a model uh, that can be helpful uh, and it, it will log all the parameters information inside it inside the ml flow right so we are going to use fmin function because we are going to minimize the objective function that we have created and uh, the loss function would be rmse so it will try to minimize the rmse loss and it will get a better model and it will log all these parameters uh, while minimizing the loss so that's the purpose of this particular function so this function will take up an objective function that we have defined above and it will take up the search space so whatever we have defined here and then we, it's gonna take up the uh, algorithm type for uh, hyper hyper parameter tuning so we are going to say that okay use tree based uh, method uh, for for hyperparameter tuning and how many evaluation you want to run for this particular uh, hyperparameter tuning i'm going to say that let's run it for 10 uh, trials and that's how it's going to take up this uh, particular function and if you try to run up this cell it will start running and optimizing and logging the uh, parameters onto the ml flow so let's start this and as soon as it starts we can go into the ml flow and we will we'll refresh this particular ml flow so you can see uh, we can see all these models that are being logged here and uh, it it has been recently logged uh, by using uh, the parameter that we have created uh, previously so uh, these are the parameters that are being logged and you can see it is still running and it is still tracking uh, the particular logs that you have created so uh, if you go into this particular uh, log you can see there are a lot of parameters that has been tracked that we have mentioned we that we haven't haven't mentioned also so if you see we have just taken care of alpha and l1 ratio so it's tracking all these logs at different levels of alpha and different levels of l1 ratio and it is also by default taking up the default parameters that we haven't specified so it is also logging those informations inside this particular uh, parameters and then you can also see up the tags that we have created so we have created elastic net tags so you can see all this information uh, being logged here so uh, once once this particular run has been completed so we can just compare all this this particular uh, information right let me just refresh this out and then let me just select all these informations that we have recently run and we'll check and compare the best model out of it we'll check like which is the best parameter for the best uh, rmse score right so let me just uh, select this all and then we have to click on this compare button once we start with this compare button you can see there are a lot of plots are coming up so this is parallel coordinate plot so you can see uh, we want to uh, get a lowest rmse score uh, like we want to get the uh, lesser rmse and that will help us to uh, say that okay the error is very less 
and hence the accuracy is more right so this is the general information about rmse right so based on this rmse uh, like this rmse is based on this l1 ratio and alpha so you can see uh, there are various values that are determined but you can see there is a blue line that is coming up here which says that for this particular alpha and this particular l1 ratio there is a minimum uh, uh, error is there so we can select up this particular model uh, this particular uh, uh, model which gives us this particular kind of range right uh, like the alpha value and l1 ratio so you can also select this uh, uh, values by 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 using this tool called tool to highlight this particular uh, range so if you select this out you can just get a highlighted part of this particular um, uh, particular parameters that you are showing up right you can also uh, scroll down and it will just specify and highlight only the part where this particular uh, range that you have selected is is being uh, printed so it it will be helpful when you have a lot of parameters like right now we have we are just taking up uh, two parameters like alpha and l1 ratio but let's say there are 50 parameters 20 parameters then it will become difficult to understand this kind of plots so in that case you can just use this uh, highlighting line and you can just de define your space and range and it will help you to identify the right type of parameters and their numbers and then you can set those numbers and you can retrain the model and do your work again right so that's how this uh, line putting up line and these tools are helpful right now we will now we'll go to the scatter plot so if you see uh, this particular plot is showing up based on mae that is mean absolute error and alpha uh, i want to show it up with respect to uh, alpha on x axis or i should say okay let let it be alpha x axis and y should be rmse and uh, it's going to show us the best thing because we are comparing everything with with respect to rmse so you can see the alpha uh, it's at like at below uh, like within the range of 1 to 1.5 the model explored more of the things right like it has explored much of the values and we are getting good uh, rmse at this point so it will show up all the details and you can just understand the way the where the model is looking up for uh, like where the model is looking on the parameters on which range uh, so that you can compare a better and find more hyperparameters uh, range within those particular values right so let's suppose by using this we, we came to net okay uh, it's a waste of exploring the region where this uh, where the range is from 1.5 to 3 so we'll mention uh, a range from 1 to 1.5 and we'll try to explore more numbers of parameter for this particular alpha so we'll define a new space search space in our code and we'll run for this only this particular region and it will help us to determine more number of parameters and more number of good uh, numbers of uh, alpha values and that will help us to increase the performance of a model right instead of exploring on, on to this particular regions so this particular graph will help you to understand such kind of perspective uh, like which area to focus more and which numbers to focus on uh, focus on or which range we have to focus on in this particular alpha uh, parameter right so similarly you can compare l1 ratio so if you see l1 ratio uh, you may find a lower accuracy here but you may find a good accuracy uh, in this particular range right from 0 0.2 or 0 0.25 to 0 0.7 right so you can specify a range or you can change the range that whatever we have defined in our search space and then you can retrain uh, this particular model and it will only explore this particular region where uh, where the accuracy is more and it will help you to increase more accuracy and get your best refined model based on this particular plots so this is how this uh, plots are helpful and it will help you to understand uh, every context and this contour plot is nothing but it will give you uh the display of uh, three values so if you see here you are able to see l1 ratio and alpha also and on the right hand side you can see the rmse score but here in scatter plot and uh, parallel coordinate plots you were just able to visualize only the two parameters or like two types of parameters like rmse and l1 ratio but in contour plot you are able to visualize more than two parameters so that's how this particular uh, uh, plots are helpful and it will help you to define more such spaces uh, and it will help you to tune your models uh, perfectly and let you to learn uh, learn and look into the better search space to where to look the model and how to define a particular range right so that's how this particular uh, plots are helpful now let's come back to this particular thing 
okay so now we have to select the best rmse uh, value so that means we have to select the lowest uh, root mean square error where the model is good performing good so uh, these are the toggle bars where you can uh, select or uh, decrease or put up a range uh, like uh, ascending ascending order or descending order right so we are going to put up in ascending order and uh, it's pointing to 0.72 i think it's uh, it's five days ago so i don't want to print out that so you can put a filter on start time as well so if you go in at the top you can see uh, i can put up last hour duration so whatever the last hour duration that i have run like whatever the experiment i have run in last hours it will just show up that and i'm going to uh, run uh, RMSC uh, and put up in an ascending order uh, so that will help me to uh, uh, get a better model where the RMSC score was uh, less right uh, so you can see uh, I will just select this particular model and this is the model that 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 is uh, that has been created with uh, with those parameters so I am going to take up all these parameters and uh, and copy these parameters here in the my notebook and we'll select and we'll just uh, uh, note it down and create a search space uh, with this and we're going to train this particular model right so let me just put up this in a, a particular format uh, that is required for parameters okay so we have selected this particular parameters uh, from mlflow uh, so in this particular parameters by just by using this particular parameters we were able to get uh, best rmse uh, for 10 trial runs uh, you can increase those 10 trials and you can get a better accuracy but for this particular i am not worrying about the particular accuracy i'm just worrying about displaying the or uh, explaining the things about how we can uh, tune a parameter and how we can log those particular parameters right so now uh, uh, with this parameter i'm just going to train the particular elastic model right so okay let me just copy some few things from a uh, previous video so let me just copy this particular thing and which will help us to auto log the things right so uh, let's let us also do something auto logging by using the parameters right so this is the thing that we are going to uh, do for auto logging and uh, we're just going to specify the parameters here so in elastic net we're just going to specify the parameters right so i'm just going to display like params and this, it will be like train test split and okay so now let's run this particular uh, cell and it will start logging the information uh, on the ml flow so let's go back to the ml flow and let's check uh, the particular run that we have created right now so let me just uh, uncheck this all and uh, sort it by start time and let me just refresh those things and should be like this yeah so you can see uh we have a uh, start time which has which has been created right now and you can see we have logged all the informations uh, by using auto log and we also use the parameter that we have defined that we found by using uh, the logging parameters and you can see we have we've taken all those parameters and it is logging right so if you want to uh, take up this particular model and uh, check the parameters and everything you can see the parameters that are selected here are the same and you can see the matrix so the model has tracked all these matrix here and uh, our mae mse r2 score and everything and then tags also you have been able to check like what are the tags uh, that you have created and the artifacts so these are the helpful for uh, model training and uh, like if like for for prediction in the for prediction sections so these are helpful uh, when you want to take up your model and deploy in uh, in the production level so these are the files that will be helpful for you so we are going to see of this all this model registry and everything in the next video uh, so for this particular tutorial uh, i think this this is what i want to display and showcase the things that like how we can use hyperopt or any of the libraries that you can use it and you can uh, train a particular uh, model by using hyperopt and you can just put up the tuning part and how you can log into the ml flow and how you can select the best model out of the, that particular logging and then you can uh, train a model and just then uh, save the models uh, in the form of artifacts right so this is how you can do it uh, by using ml flow and hyperopt maybe you can replace hyperopt with optiona and other hyperopt parameter library which you're going to use it so that's all about it and the process remains the same uh, i hope you enjoyed this particular video if you like my content do subscribe my channel thank you